Trinity got this game for Christmas and we started checking it out and the instructions were very confusing so we checked out some Amazon reviews and we were not hopeful that this game was going to be even worth keeping. So the first impressions I have with this game is, wow, this is a hard wood case with hinges and it, it smells so nice. It smells like a new house being built because yeah, it's hard wood. Oh wow. And that's one of, <laughs> it came from Home Depot. That's one of my cons about this is because it does hinge and it's solid wood. Fingers could get pinched really easily, so yikes. It smells like it came from the store. So in this game, you get your very confusing instruction sheet with all the rules and we'll get to this in a minute. Then you also have your Argus Filch character. Then you have all your house movers. You know, your Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Hufflepuff. Then you have the lenticular wands, and these are the biggest problem of figuring out how to play this game. Then we have the dice. This is the moving dice, and this is the... Wanted Filch dice. <laughs> yes, and one con about this game is it is just stickers that you put on these dice, yeah. and they are starting to come off. So either you can just glue them on, or you could just take a Sharpie and draw them on yourself. Then you also have 30 potion cards and they have each of the ingredients on the back that you need to look for. Then you have your ingredient collection pad and there's quite a few in here where you keep track of what you've found. To get started, you're gonna shuffle your potions cards and give each player three, three cards. Two, three, two. Then you're gonna put the rest, and this was a complaint that they gave. They're like, why do we divide the cards into three piles? Well, just because to have fun playing off of that they're potions. You just put them over here, like you're keeping track of all your potions. Just kind of adds a little bit more fun to the game. Today's channel is I am Sheila J. Thank you for your sweet comment, amazing support. We couldn't do it without you. All right, according to the rules, the youngest wizard goes first. Yes. And then you go clockwise. The wand means that you get to move your character. The lamp means Filch moves. And then this one determines how many spaces either Filch or you moves. All right, so Zoe gets to move Argus three spaces. Now, whether you're playing as Argus or as yourself, you can move any direction you want. Okay, did you guys ever play that game, 13 Dead End Drive? where the little detective is coming up the front of the game on the front of the house. That's where I can relate to this part of the game. So when you're playing as Argus Filch, you want to move him as close to the other game players as you can. Because if Argus Filch goes past another player, they lose one of the potions. And if you're playing as yourself, you want to move as far away from Argus as possible so that you don't lose any of the potions that you found. Playing this tactic with Argus Filch is so important because to win the game, you have to be the first one to get all your ingredients from one potion card and make it back to start. That's how you win. Today's contest is, what does the Imperious Curse do? If you get it right, your comment will be pinned. All right, so do you see these little footprints all over the board? These paths are only for Argus Filch. We 
keep track of my grades on the collection pad. And then we keep our cards face down so that nobody else can see our progress. And for example, so we have one ingredient here, two ingredients here, but then this card has all the ingredients and we're trying to make our way fast back to start. So we can win the game. And then Filch sneaks past you and then I get the card. So you put the card back that Filch sneaked underneath one of these piles and grab a new card and give it back to the other player. If Filch took a potion card from you, you'll want to land on this space to get back a card. If you already have three, don't take any more. If Argus Filch is hot on your tail, ah! when it's your turn, you could move to a start space and you are safe. safe. And you can stay on the start space for as long as you want. And it counts as each turn, each time you stay. If you move to this spot, you can check off any ingredient off your list. If you're having a hard time trying to find the last ingredient on one of your cards, then you can just go ahead and check it right off and go back to start and win the game. If you want to travel far, really fast, jump on your broomstick and head through these portals. You can only travel through portals that are the same color. X does not mark the spot in this game. You'll want to avoid this spot as much as possible because this spot means you lose a turn. So run away from this spot. If you land on this spot, this is when you get to search for potion ingredients. And this is the part where everybody has been struggling with how to see these potions ingredients. We could not figure out how to use the wand to see the ingredients in this circle. <laughs> Mommy, are you there? Everything's blurry. <laughs> Before you start looking for potions, you'll want to remove your game piece. This is one con, is this game pieces are so big for these little spaces on the game board. Before you start looking at ingredients, you want to roll the die. And then you'll know how many ingredients you get to look for. To use the wand, you place it flat against the surface of the game and rotate it until it starts to reveal the ingredients. You, you get to find four. Let's find them. Oh, okay. Got them. Check them off. We found the beetle, the blood, mints. You found some of mine. We hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and have fun playing. We'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to click here to follow our journey. And click here to watch our last video. We'll see you next time.